Carmo with the stock squish. And uh, Melissa, we do see your uh, your screen, we do see your PowerPoint there. And so if you want to go ahead and just say a quick hello, we'll make sure that you're good to go uh, via audio. Can you hear me? Hello, hello, hello. Yes, sure can. And if, if everybody else uh, can hear her, if you could please just type in a Y for yes into the question section, let us know that we're good to go. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you. So without any further ado, I want to introduce to you Melissa Arma. She founded the Stock Swoosh in December of 2012. Now, the Stock Swoosh is an educational firm that empowers traders with a complete and detailed system to become profitable traders. Now, Melissa Armo, she graduated magna cum laude from Gettysburg College with a BA in philosophy and a minor in Latin and political science in 1994. Now, she was employed for several banks and brokers in Pennsylvania, Florida, Arizona, and New York as a mortgage broker for 17 years. Now, she's changed her careers from banking to pursue a security trading career in 2008. Now, a self-taught day trader with over five years of experience, Melissa's specialty is a trading strategy that focuses on shorting stocks that gap. In her free time, Melissa likes to work out, read, write, and dance, and she loves New York City, and she loves James Bond movies. So without any further ado, help me welcome Melissa. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me here today. Thanks so much. It's wonderful to be here. It's great to be in all this wonderful, fabulous male energy. So thanks so much for having a female in here into the mix. It's great being a woman trader, and I do love trading the stock market. So today we're going to talk about advanced technical analysis. My name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh LLC. If anyone's interested in more information after the webinar today, you can reach out to me and email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. I also have a lot of videos on YouTube of market calls that I make and trades that I've done, and sometimes I've actually even taped the live trading room, and you can go see some of those uh, videos on YouTube as well. So today we're going to talk about advanced technical analysis. Can you make money in the stock market using advanced technical analysis skills? And the answer is yes. I know this is a big debate. Some people like to do fundamentals. Some people like to look at price action. I'm a pure technical analysis trader. And in fact, I use an advanced way to actually read price, which we're going to talk about today. This helps me make money in the market. It's something that I actually could not live without. If I had to rely strictly on reading fundamentals and trading, I would not trade as well or make as much money as I do trading stocks. So I'm thankful that we live in an electronic market, which allows me to see the price of stocks. This is something that's available to everyone out there. You can get on the internet, your live platform. You can turn on the television and see the exact price of what a stock is trading at right now. You can even get it on your phone. What a great internet age that we live in, that we have all this accessibility of information in real-time fashion live. And it allows you to take advantage of that, to do what? To make money when you're trading. So understanding how to read price in the correct direction is a key ingredient in profiting in the market. Set yourself apart from the world of novice traders and investors by becoming an expert in technical analysis. And by the way, as a side note here, I really think that if you want to make money trading, you need to become an expert in whatever it is that you do. It has to be in one genre, one strategy, one thing, and even in one direction if you want to do that in the market. This idea of being a jack of all trades and an expert is none does not work as a trader. It will not give you the longevity and consistency that you need in the market. You have to be really, 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 really good at even just one thing. And if you are, you can make money. You only need one thing. I only need one pick a day to make money in the market. I only need one good pick. If I have one good trade, I got my day in, okay? And this is how you do it. You become an expert. Experts have knowledge, do their homework, and read information in real time in the form of price patterns in charts. Becoming an expert in technical analysis is a vital ingredient to becoming successful as a professional trader or investor. Now if you say, well, I don't really want to be a professional. I don't really want to go work on Wall Street. I don't want to go work for a trading firm or a desk. But even if you're doing this part time, for a short time of the day, or if you're only doing overnights or swing trading or core trading, you're not sitting at your desk every day as a day trader, which by the way I am, I'm a day trader. I'm at my desk every morning, I'm trading. But even if you don't want to do it every day, you still have to act like a professional because your money is serious. It's a serious business if you're in the market. Even if you're just in it small, meaning not all the time, not every day, you still have to take it seriously because it's your money. And why would you risk your money unless you take it seriously? You have to take it seriously. It's a respect. There's a level of respect that needs to be there. And if you respect the time that you invest and the quality of the picks that you have in the market, the market will see that. 
and will honor that for you to be successful. So what a current company's value or worth is always reflected in the price, in the price now, right now. Price patterns and charts hold the key to making decisions ahead of time and in the moment to profit and profit substantially. Making money in the market involves making timely decisions based on price. Price supersedes everything else, even fundamentals. And this is my belief system. Now, if you like to look at fundamentals, that's fine. But what if the price tells you something different? Then what do you do? You look at the price. Because you could read something about a stock that happened or that you think is going to happen. But I'm reading what's happening right now that I'm making the decision now because I, I know one thing with 100% certainty and 100% conviction right now, the stock price of the stock right now, I know the price of the market right now, we're closed on Friday, at the close of Friday, if this is a Friday at four o'clock Eastern time, I know what that is, that I know. And when it opens up Monday morning, that I'll know. What's going to happen in the future, you're making predictions perhaps based on previous price action, but you know now, and that is really where you have to live. You have to live in the now. When you're a trader, you have to live in the now and you have to make decisions in the now. And particularly if you're a day trader, and I don't care if you trade options, if you trade equities, if you trade Forex, you are in the now, trading right now, and you're trading actually as a day trader to make money today. And even if you're a swing trader, you really are trading to make money now, today, okay? Even whether you take it out or not is up to you. So make the time to trade in a higher level. Yeah, this involves what? This might involve actually learning, okay? People go to school to learn. People go to school to get higher education. There is such a thing in the market, although it's not a big university that we all go to and we all sign up and get a degree. It'd be fun to do that. We could all become friends, but there really is no such place, okay? So in order to learn how to trade, you got two things. You got real life experience, which you're going to need, and then you also have to take a class. Unless you're going to teach yourself. Now, I did teach myself how to trade. It was a long, long process over a number of years, and it cost me big bucks. And I suggest it's much easier to learn from, from me or any one of the people that are here at this webinar today. It is so e much easier for you to actually learn from someone else than to teach yourself. Because really, the market will be your teacher if you dive into the market headfirst and don't know anything. The market will be a teacher, and it's a long teacher. It's a hard teacher. It's a tough teacher. It actually is the best teacher, though, quite frankly, and that's the reason I figured all this stuff out, but it was a long, long haul. But this idea of not learning from anyone or having a mentor is false. You, people go to school to learn any type of thing where they're going to make significant money, and there is significant money to be made in the market. So if you want to take it seriously, you'll learn. Even if you're doing it part-time, you'll learn. Because again, the respect has to be there for the trades that you're taking, the picks that you're making, and the money that you want to make in the market. And the market, again, sees that. Sees all of those choices that you're making. Now, let's talk about technical analysis, because this is what I said. This is the way that I train. The methods used to analyze securities and make investment decisions fall into two very broad categories, fundamental analysis and technical analysis. Fundamental analysis involves analyzing the characteristics of a company in order to estimate its value. And again, some people like to do this. I don't do any of this, though. You could. Technical analysis takes a completely different approach. It doesn't care one bit about the value of a company or commodity. Technicians, sometimes called chartists, this is me, are only interested in the price movements in the market. Now, we're going to look at some charts today. This is a definition from Investopedia, but it is true. If you are someone that likes to look at the fundamentals, take the technical analysis, look at it in an advanced way, Take the fundamentals with it to give you more conviction to take the trade. However, if you get to a point, which I was saying earlier, where the fundamentals and the technicals do not add up, what are you going to do? You're going to look at the price right now and make a decision based on that. And we're going to look at some charts here today. Ultimately, what you're doing is training your brain to read charts or to read price action in charts when you are learning something, when you're learning a method like my method, the strategy I train, uh, which is GAPS, which we're going to talk about here. You are training your brain. When I get up in the morning and look at something, or right now, anybody can pick a chart. I could bring up my charts right now. They would be live. The market's closed. It's Saturday. But I, I've trained my brain over the course of, you know, almost six years now to read price as it's moving. If there's strength in it, if there's weakness in it, the patterns of it, I'm trained my brain to see everything. Every time I see it, this is why over time, actually, if you sit down and go and learn from someone that's a mentor like me, and you learn from me, I'm training you, it's your brain that's doing the learning, and then over time, you get better 
And over time, I've gotten better. And over time, you do get better. It's, you know, it's so funny. I, I talk to so many traders. People have been doing this for years and years and years and years and years and years losing. You're supposed to make more as the years go on. You're supposed to get better as the years go on. You're supposed to make more money as you trade. The longer you trade, you're supposed to get better, not worse or not same or not go down. Okay? The idea is to get better, to train yourself to get better. Reading price is like learning a language, like sign language or a different language altogether. Anything, a foreign language, you have to train yourself. You're training your brain. You're learning. Okay? It's like a different language altogether, the language of charts. So, the Stocks Wish LLC, which is me, has a new and bold method of how to accurately read directional bias of price using advanced technical analysis. There is one underlying principle that exists in the world of the market in every chart and ETF in existence. And again, you can use this for ETFs too, like the SPY and the QQQs. What is it? It is a pattern that exists in the stock market. Understanding how to read price is so critical to create substantial gains in the market. What do you need to look for in a chart to know whether to take a trade? What is important? What is not important? And there are some things that are just not important. Okay, there are some things that are important and there are some things that are not important. What is important? Gaps. Okay, now this is what I look at when I'm deciding to take a trade or not take a trade. So what is important it is gaps. Uh, I have called this market extremely well. And I'm going to tell you right now here today, you can say I remember doing this webinar on Saturday, August 23rd, and this stock swoosh lady said, and she called the market. Between now and the end of the year, possibly the next six months, which will take us into the beginning of 2015, the market, the QQQs and the SPY, is going to go to some astronomical number. SPYs are about to hit 200. Qs are about to hit 100. That, you haven't seen anything yet. This market is going to go to some crazy bullish number that no one is saying and no one can expect in the next four to six months. Okay? And if you look at the picture here, this is a picture of a chart at the close of Friday of the QQQs. I called the market to go to this number since May since in the last four months. I said the market was going to go to this number. It's hit it, it's hit it before I even expected, which means we're very strong and we're going to continue and continue to go to the numbers. Now, how am I able to do this? I am doing this through the price analysis of gaps. So let's look at the gaps here in the QQQs. This is a bullish gap. This is a bullish gap that happened back here at the end of May in the QQQs. The market has been holding this gap. This is a bullish gap. You could have gone long this gap. At the time when we did this gap, people were saying we were toppy, we were coming in, we were due for a correction, we were extended, and I said, no, 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 we're higher. We rally, rally, made a new high, gapped up again, came in, rally, gapped up, gapped up, rally, made a new high in here, came into support, gapped up again. This is a teeny weeny little gap, doesn't look like much, but it's a gap, it's a bullish gap. Drop down, came in, gapped up, gapped up, gapped up. This is a gap up. You can't see in here because I know I squished it really small, but this is a gap up. It went right on the day, but it's a gap up. And again, there's lots of gaps in here. Now, here's a bearish gap. I like to go short. I love to go short. I prefer to go short of a long. Actually, I have a method that I would look at the gap, and I would rank this gap. Now, I'm using technical analysis because I'm using what? The price of the gap. I'm looking at the daily chart. This is a daily chart, and I'm going to rate this gap. Or I'd rate this gap, okay? This is a bullish gap. This is a bearish gap. And I would determine if I think this gap is what? Is it good short, okay? And that's how you would know. Now, as it turns out, you could have shorted this gap in the market on this day, and you could have made money shorting as a day trade. It was not a good long-term short. There were people actually that tried to short this for a longer term. They got blown on through here when the market continued to make a new high. But this was a gap you could have looked at. Okay, you could look at actually every gap. The market gaps a lot. Okay, if you're going to do the ETFs, the market gaps a lot. Some people actually prefer to do options in some of the stocks or the ETFs because they think it's cheaper than doing the equities. I like to trade the straight out equities. I like to day trade, but you can do options in these things using my system to look at the gap to determine the directional bias because you'd be determining the directional bias of what the gap, which is going to tell you what it's going to do in the day, whether it's a stock or the market. I just want to point out one more thing here before we go to the next chart. The market has been gapping up almost every day in the last two weeks. Market gapped up here. Neutral open, gap up, gap up, gap up, gap up, gap up. Neutral, gap up, gap up again. Okay? So this is 
gaps, okay? And this helps you read what? The directional bias of what's happening with the price which is what technical analysis is, and it tells you what to look at. So what is important? Gaps, okay? This is the one thing that's very, very important. Let's go over again here, what is a gap? This is a review. Some people here may know what a gap is. Some people might not. But a stock gap, so the opening price today is different from the closing price of the previous day's trading. That's all that a gap is. A gap is a break, a break in the price action from one day to the next, okay? What is the new method to read gaps that I personally developed in the market it's a 26-point rating system. I named it the Golden Gap to give it a name because it's like finding gold in the market when I find these gaps are rate per my system, which means that they're going to work on the day. Work on the day meaning what? That I could trade them in the direction of the gap, whether it's a bullish gap or a bearish gap, to actually take a trade with a high level of confidence and conviction. And I'm looking at a very, very precise method, which is what? 26 things on what? On the daily chart. I would look at the daily chart. I'm looking at the price of the gap in the daily chart, and I'm looking at 26 points to determine if this is good or not. If I want to buy this, and I would rate it. Or if I'd want to short this, and I would rate it. And this is a lot of things. 26 things is a lot of things. It's like, talk about advanced, okay? This is, this is advanced. If I ever come up with 50 things, I'll do them. As of now, 26 has been pretty, pretty exact. On any given morning when I get up, I can pinpoint within two top picks that I like on the day to do. Now, what is a golden gap? As I was saying, a golden gap is a gap that is a high odds of working on the day. Your idea of trading, the reason you trade is you want to make money. You do not want to take 10 trades and have nine fail and one work. You don't want to take five trades and have two uh, work and three not work. Okay, you want to take one trade or two trade and you want them to work. Finding gaps are rated according to the 26 point golden gap rating system is like finding gold in the market. And golden gap spot what? Institutional money. In the case of the market, it's buying. Institutional buying that's happening in the market. And that's one of the reasons the market keeps rallying and making new highs. Now, golden gaps are made by professionals. What I mean? Institutions, hedge funds, professional traders. Real, real serious professionals. I'm talking about people that trade a lot of money, that take huge, massive positions, institutional money. That's what that is, okay, that are creating the gaps themselves. They are gaps that have a high odds of working on the day in the correct direction of the gap with a large momentum move. And the momentum happens, why? Because big money is making the gap. And that's what makes the momentum. Now, this was Friday. This is actually a bullish gap that happened on Friday. What is a gap? Let's just go over here the definition of a gap. GMCR on Thursday night closed approximately 117.50-ish or thereabouts. And the next morning, Friday morning, woke up, opened up here to around 125-ish or thereabouts. So this gapped up. What made this gap, this gap up here, this is power money. Power money or what I call institutional money that would make this gap. There's you and me and everybody here and all the people here. We could not make this gap, okay? This is serious money that would make this gap. The stock actually on from the close of Thursday into the open of the Friday, it gapped up $7 plus. There's, this is institutional buying. Are you going to short this? Or are you going to buy this? You don't know, so you have a system and a method to rate the gap, and this is what I do. So I would look at this, it's a bullish gap, and I'm trying to figure out if I wanna buy this, or I'm trying to figure out if I wanna short this. And as it turns out, it's a good bullish gap. It is what I call a golden gap. Stock ran up <laughs> more than $10 on the day, and this, is exactly what I'm talking about here even in relationship to the market, actually. And we're going to look at this trade later. So advanced technical analysis, what is and what is not important? So what we determined was important is gaps. Highly qualified gaps that are made by institutional money, that is important in the price analysis of a stock chart or the market. What is not important? Here's a clip of a chart HLF. This is a great chart, by the way. Uh, this, what is not important, shows you and shows you very clearly that pivots are actually... And higher highs and higher lows and lower highs and lower lows are not that important in a chart. What happened here? The stock actually had a huge, massive, this was like a news generated thing on the day, uh, rally up on the day. Okay, big, huge, fat green bar. Again, I know this is small, but the reality is you could look it up in your own chart. This is HLF. It had a big, big move in the day. Triggered, triggered, rallied huge over everything, over every moving average in the world, over the resistance. And it didn't last. Guess what the stock did? 
it made a higher high here, okay? Even made a higher low and another higher high. And then what? It got down. It got down. It got down within a week of doing this bar. Not only did it do that, it actually continued lower and broke. I actually predicted that this would kill this bar after I saw it because I'm reading this overall picture of the price in this chart. Again, which is based on the advanced technical analysis skills that I know of reading price. So I know people got creamed in this because they bought in this bar and it didn't last. And I'm sure there's some people that are in this bar that are still in it. And it's not good. So what is not important necessarily, what people think is very, very, very important is pivots and higher highs and higher lows and actually lower highs and lower lows to determine trends in charts in the market. And it is not as important as people think. It has, it serves a purpose. Moving averages serve a purpose, but it is not what I would consider an advanced way to read price. An advanced way to read price that's going to help you make money is a method that I've developed, which is in gaps. So why do golden gaps work to read price? Gaps are created with large institutional money. That is what makes the gap. The gaps that happen to play out in stocks are formed by one thing and one thing only, large institutional money. Therefore, you need a way that will help you pick the correction to play the gap and confirm that the large money will flow with it. By having a formula to rate and qualify the gap, you get confirmation and conviction that the large institutional money is on your side and then you play it. Gaps are an event and they create a sense of urgency. An urgency, we have to sell out of this quick, 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 quick or something like that, okay, or buy it in the case of GMCR. Thus, an action is being forced by participants of the stock, whether they own it long or they are in it short. This is why gap trading is incredibly powerful. Trading gaps is a powerful and profitable way to trade because you're trading on the side of power and money, and guess what? That's what makes a market. That's what makes it possible for me, you, and everyone here to make money. If there was not institutional money or power and money in charts, there would not be gaps. There would not be movement. There would not be momentum. We wouldn't be able to make a dime. Okay, it is real power money that makes gaps, and that's what makes them so powerful to trade and to read in an advanced technical manner to read the price action of what's happening to predict what the stock is going to do on the day or even a long term. So it's about learning a system that teaches you how to read the direction of power money that is something you can use forever, meaning you could actually read this and use this forever. If you learn advanced technical skills and gaps, if you learn my golden gap rating system, it's something you could use forever. Gaps will always exist in the market as long as there is a market, unless we stop having post and pre-market trading, which we won't, okay? And the fact is that the U.S. stock market does have a closed time and an open time, which allows the gap to even happen in the first place. And using a system and a checklist is a professional way to trade. And again, it doesn't matter if you're only doing this for a short time of the day. I actually don't trade the morning. I only trade the morning time period. But I'm a professional in what I'm looking at. I take it seriously and I have a checklist. Like if you were a pilot or a doctor or a dentist or some type of other profession, everyone has a checklist. They check it off what they need to do. And this is a professional way to trade. So the purpose of the checklist is to do what? Find stocks that have a high probability of directional bias for the entire day, big moves, early confirmation of the move before 10 a.m., and precise entries with follow-through and a good risk to reward, which is how you're going to make money as a trader. It is a multi-purpose system, okay? You can day trade this system. This is what I do. But it is also unique because you can use it for swing trades and longer-term trades. GMCR is a great example, by the way. Uh, you could be long in that stock for a longer-term trade. How is this possible? Because everything in the system follows the patterns created by large institutional money. This is why the information taught in the class I teach is so valuable. How many systems out there or strategies can you trade in multiple time frames, multiple purpose ways, and not only do it, but also do it with conviction and have good results, okay? I'm using advanced technical analysis in the gap reading of the price of the gap and ascertaining the direction in the setup. And therefore, it can be used in multiple time frames. If you use advanced technical analysis skills, you can trade more accurately to make more money, which is the goal. If it was such a case that every way you'd read a pivot would determine the directional trend of something, that no pivot break would ever happen and then flip you out and go on to work again. And by the way, all, none of us would ever lose. If all we would do was look at reading higher highs and higher lows and lower highs and lower lows to determine trends in a stock or the directional bias is something we would, everybody would make money and therefore there would be no market because that's not the way it is. Okay, it's not that simple. It is an advanced way that you have to look at what's reading the price. Okay, now let's look at this one here. This was the GMCR. We looked at this one, this beautiful bar here. Let's see how this played out live in the day. Again, this is an intraday setup. This is a one minute chart. 
beautiful, 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 beautiful gap in this chart. This gap, this is a gap up. It's a bullish gap. Here you can see this is a one minute chart. This is a close of business on Thursday around four o'clock. You see the stock closed down in here and you see here's the gap. It gapped up, boom, there it is. You could have even aggressively done this out of the gate, okay? Beautiful move in this or you can wait for the confirmation and take the entry in here and look at this rally. Uh, again, done in the morning period though. Entry time was 10.10. This is a long, by the way. You're going long. You're buying this. Again, let's go back. You're not going to short this. It's not going to fill the gap. It's not going to fill this gap. It's going to hold. It's going to hold. Why? It rates well. It's a bullish gap according to my 26-point checklist, okay? You are going to look to buy this thing, and if you buy it, it's a huge trade. Entry was 127.20. Risk is 80 cents. This is an advanced risk, by the way. You're risking 640 bucks. It actually rallied up to 136. Talk about a dream target. This is a dream target for the stock. Realistic target was 130. This stock went $6 past the realistic target of targets for things. Again, that's an advanced method uh, to determine the price of the targets as well. Total profit, if you took this trade on Friday, Friday over $6,000. This is what I call a good trade, okay? That means for every dollar that you risked, you made $10.38. That's a profitable trade, okay? This is a quality trade in a stock that had momentum and a good gap. You're going long this. This is an advanced risk. If you cannot take this kind of risk in the trade, then you'll divvy it up. Divide it by two, divide it by four, whatever. You're still made $10.38 for every dollar you risk. That's a good, good trade, okay? So advanced technical analysis of gaps gives me conviction. It gives me conviction. It's conviction to do what? To risk, to risk money because there's no getting around it. No matter what you do in the market, you can't make any money if you don't take any risk. And if you take risk, then you have to have what? Conviction. If you don't have conviction, then you second guess yourself. You're like, well, it's 50-50. Maybe I should take it here. Or you take it and you're not sure yourself. And it's 50-50. And then you're up a little and you kill it. And you kill it too soon. What if you killed this too soon? What if you killed this here? Look. Look at all the money you missed. Okay, you have to have what I call 100% conviction, conviction, you believe in it. And what gives me conviction? The rating system, my analysis of the price of the technicals and the stock and the gap, the rating system, the gap itself gives me the conviction, looking at the gap and having a high level of conviction in that gap. Now here was another one here. Again, I love the shorts. This is NUS. This is a short. This was a gap, a bearish gap. Stock closed here the night before, open up the next day here. This is a short, okay? Again, I would get up in the morning and I'd look at the gap. The stock closed here and then it gapped down. And I'm looking at the gap to see if it's going to be a good bearish gap to short. And if it rates well, according to the rating system, I would look to short it. And let's see what happened. This is back at the beginning of August. So here's the stock gapping down. Again, are you going to buy this when it has a green bar here to fill the gap? No, why? It rates well per the 26-point rating system. You're looking to short it. You're looking to get in. You're looking to short this. And if you do, it falls off a planet. Again, another one that went to the dream target. Hard to hold these things to some of these numbers because you're up so much money at a certain point here in the morning into 10 o'clock. Uh, you know, you have to take the profit. And, and here's a good example, though, of one that just did kaboom as well in the right direction, which is down. Entry time was aggressive. This is now not after 10 o'clock. This is into the open. 9.33. Price of the entry is a short. You're shorting the stock. You're shorting it at 50.91. Risk now is 34 cents, okay? The amount of shares you can take in this one is more for similar risk. You're risking 5.78. Again, this is advanced. Eggs, it's 45. It actually went to 43 something. It went to a crazy number. It just went to some crazy number in the day. It was almost unbelievable. This is a dream target, by the way. Total profit in this, over $10,000. If you took this trade with this size, you would have made over $10,000. You wouldn't have needed to take another trade the rest of the week, but maybe you would have if you had another good gap. Risk is 17 hours. Again, quality trade. What are you looking for normally? Three. Three is what you're looking for. If you get three hours a day, you, that's, a, that's actually money you're paying yourself for trading for a living. But every once in a while, you get something that's fabulous, okay? Whether it's bullish or bearish, 
and you have to maximize it. What helps you do that? The conviction. What helps you get the conviction, the gap rating? How high the gap rating is? How are you getting that information? What are you doing? You're reading this, this, the daily chart of the stock. You're reading the whole thing. You're not reading the pivots. You're reading the gaps. You are reading the gaps. You're determining what this is going to do in the actual gap, which is what is being made by professional traders, by institutions, by hedge funds. Okay? Now, what about percentage of return? People always ask me that in these trades. How does it turn out? Okay, Percentage of return in reference to day trading is based on an R concept. I did not create the R concept. Okay, This is a concept used by day traders and talked about and taught. It is for every dollar that you risk, you were looking to make a certain number of dollars. The dollar is in the risk in the entry price of the stock per the stop. Okay. An R, or what is an R? An R is one risk unit. The risk unit per trade should be equal or close to equal per trade, which means if you trade and take three trades every day, you should be risking approximately the same. If you want to risk $100, fine. Your R is 100 bucks, so you take three trades. Every one should be close to or equal to 100 bucks. The risk unit is the amount of money you're actually risking in a trade if you use a hard stop, which I do. If you do not use a hard stop, then you have unlimited risk. I know people say, well, I don't, I don't want to use a hard stop. I just want to give it, I have a paper stop. A paper stop doesn't help you when the market crashes, when the market rallies on news, when, when something happens, when somebody gets on and talks about something and we're going to war. You have a hard stop. I use hard stops. I trade with signs. I use hard stops. I can take a 5,000 position and I have a hard stop in. You got to know where the stop has to be. Okay? Many people do not know where to put a stop and do not use them. However, it's very important to use hard stops. And I will always use hard stops. And that hard stop protects me. Okay? Because no matter what your level is, beginner, intermediate, or advanced, you have an unlimited risk if you don't have a stop in. And you know what? Sometimes people do, they freeze. They don't have a stop in and they may not even have a hard, lot of size. But then the stop goes completely against them in the opposite direction. They didn't get out. They didn't have a stop in and they can't get out. And they are actually far past where they even wanted to get out. Okay, so you don't want that to happen to you. You want to have a contained risk, a calculated risk, a determined risk. So let's look here in this NUSH. What really was the rate of return for this trade here? Because again, people always look at this. And people look at this in reference to day trading and investing, but day trading is based on the R. If the R was 578, understanding your return on investment in NUSH was what? You risked 578. If you held this, again, this isn't the low of the day or the dream target. This was a dream target, but this went beyond the dream target. If you held it to there, your risk reward in ours is 17.38. Now, the buying power you needed to take it, you have to have an account to take it, you would have needed 86.547. This isn't in cash. You would have needed this in buying power. The broker gives you the buying power. The cash you would have needed on a 4 to 1 leverage day trading account with the broker was 21,636. So you wouldn't need this much cash at a 4 to 1 broker account to take it. Now, could you have taken less than that? Yes. What if you would have taken half? What do you want to make 5,000? Can you live with that? So, you know, either way, this is what you would have needed for this trade. Now go back. Percentage of cash out late, 46%. But this isn't the right way to look at it, okay? The reality is you're looking at the risk you were just 17. You actually made 46% a rate of return on your money. And that sounds outstanding because this is one trade on one day of 200, you know, some trading days in a year. But this isn't really the correct way to look at day trading, okay? You're not sucking up this much money to take the trade of actual cash when you're day trading. You're going to get out of it, okay? You are utilizing this to take the position. You're not going in and purchasing the stock and getting a stock certificate in the mail and using that money to get that certificate. You are day trading. It's using this buying power of the cash you had up to have it to take the train to get in, to get out, and to book it, and then you're done. If that was the case, you'd make thousands and thousands and thousands percent on your money as a day trader. So the correct way to look at it is actually this. Okay, it's the risk to reward. But this has to be equal or close to equal in every trade, okay? So it's understanding the amount of the risk equals one risk unit. This is a proper way to look at apples to apples to compare day trading on any other type of trade that you take. The bigger picture really for trading is, I think, for people if they want to take this seriously and learn what to do, is that you could do this for a career. One important key factor in becoming a successful trader is keeping in mind the bigger picture while living in the now. I know this is challenging. We all have many things we have on our plate. But you can live in the now with your daily decisions, but keep the bigger picture in mind of where you want to go and who you want to become. 
If you do not keep the bigger picture in mind, the regular everyday things in life will consume your daily thoughts and you will never reach the bigger picture goal. If your bigger picture goal is you want to be a career trader, how are you going to get there? You have to start somewhere. You have to start somewhere. You start with learning. Start with learning experience, a small account. Trading is a career choice and a lifestyle choice in the bigger picture. Many people struggle to remember the bigger picture goals and dreams during their day-to-day -day activities. But you know what? You have to. Time flies. Here it is. It's, it's actually almost the fall. Soon it's going to be Christmas, the holidays, Hanukkah, everything. Then it's going to be 2015, okay? Time flies. And if you don't have a goal to set out to get and accomplish the things that you want in life, time will just go on and on and on and on and on. And five years will go by and you say, gosh, you know, where am I at? I'm still trying to figure out this one strategy and I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm actually still dibble dabbling in the market and losing money. You have to make a decision that you want to be serious about it. It's, this isn't, doesn't mean you're taking 50 hours a week trading. It means that you're just going to be serious in the time that you do it. In the short period of the day or the time or the quality of the factor that you take in learning something that actually makes sense for you to even do in the first place. The bigger picture is, though, if you do want to be a career trader, you will have more time for leisure because this is not an activity as a day trader you spend and sit and work 60 hours a week. I'm done every day by 11 o'clock at the latest. Every once in a blue moon, I'll hold a trade into lunch, but it's not every day. And so it's pretty much part-time hours for more than full-time pay. The bigger picture is you have more money for a better lifestyle, for other things that you want to purchase or buy. Years and years ago, you know, I used to work for banks and we'd get, you know, we'd get the reviews and We'd have the reviews every year and we'd get bonuses and all these things. Companies don't give that stuff anymore. They don't even give a normal percentage of uh, annual pay raises, even if you're doing great, okay? The key is to work for yourself. And how do you do that? You can trade the market. When you trade the market, you're working for yourself. It's you in the market alone doing it, okay? And it gives you the ability to be able to make more money, to have an unlimited income because you got to learn how to do it so that you can actually make the money in the market. And also the bigger picture is you can work from home. I love working from home. I don't have to commute. I don't have to worry about snowstorms in New York. Uh, I don't have to worry about any traffic on the subway. You can just work from home. So I teach a class. The class is called the Golden Gap Course. It teaches one solid strategy, which is Golden Gaps. It teaches multiple entries and plays in the how to take the trades, like the GMCR and the NUS. It teaches you how to trade the open. I'm looking to aggressively take these entries in the stocks before they go to the dream numbers. It teaches you how to book money intraday in stocks, teaches advanced chart reading skills and technical analysis. And I also teach people how to get conviction in their trading in the market as a source of wealth because that is what it is meant to be. It will not be that for everyone. Why? Because people want to do flip from thing to thing to thing to thing to thing to thing to thing. The idea is not to take one trade and make a million dollars. This is why people are doing the gap fills, by the way, or doing reversals. This is why people are trying to short this market because they think it's extended. It's extended. It's extended. I'm going to have my dream trade and make a million dollars by shorting this market that's going to come in like kaboom. Your dream trade is not that. Your dream is to trade every day. Your dream is to make millions of dollars over the course of your lifetime consistently and have longevity in a career that most people will never get. It is not to take some crazy risk trade and make a million dollars in that trade doing something that makes no sense. It is to be consistent, to chunk it out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and have one good pick and one good thing every day. And you know what? Some days you will have trades like the one I showed you today. Some days you will. And those are dream trades, by the way, okay? But it's an advanced risk. How do you get to the point where you can take an advanced risk? You have to learn what to do. So I teach a class. It's called the Golden Gap Course. It teaches a strategy on how to trade gaps. The course teaches a 26-point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day in a gap. The course also teaches you what direction to trade the stock on the day, which you have to know how to do or you won't make money. The course teaches you chart analysis and technical analysis on an advanced level, which you will have to do if you want to make money in the market. You could go read a book, and it's not going to teach you how to make money. My class actually teaches you how to make money in the market. There's lots and lots and lots of information out there, free stuff on the Internet. It's not going to teach you how to make money. You can learn tons of things, all kinds of things. You can have every indicator in the world of your charts. At the end of the day, you have to learn how to make money, and that means you're going to have to learn something that's actually a little bit advanced. To learn a strategy that you can use to make money in the U.S. stock market is another reason to take the class. To learn how to trade and find stocks that have momentum, to read charts, to read multiple time frames, to pick the symbol and determine the targets. And not only that, to learn a new career that you can do from home, which actually I think is really a fun thing to do. So empower yourself to trade. And again, if you want to do this for a career, it's, it's a great career, by the way. 
it's a really great career because you don't have to work for a boss. You don't have to work long hours. Uh, but even if you love your job and you love what you do, you could do this for extra money. You know, $500 extra a week, which is $100 a day, is $2,000 extra a month. It's twenty four grand a year. That's a vacation. Uh, that's, you know, beautiful clothing you can buy yourself, a new car. It's lots of things. Okay, so th and that's not even making a million dollars. It's a hundred bucks a day, and you could still have your regular job if you like it and trade in the morning to make some extra money. And even if you made a thousand dollars a week, that's forty-eight grand a year. That's an extra almost fifty grand a year. And then you can start to see, gosh, you know, maybe I could do this for a living someday. And then maybe when you're ready to retire from your job, then you'll have something else to do besides relying on Social Security, which who knows if it's even going to be there by the time any of us retire. If you live in the U.S., who knows? Or a pension. And who knows if those are going to be there? Okay, companies are not even continuing to get, give pensions like they used to. You have to empower yourself to trade. You have to take it upon yourself to take charge of your life and your own finances and not only that, your future. You live in the now and you plan for the future. And that's how you empower yourself to move forward. Anyways, the class I teach is called the Golden Gap Course. It's a full due date course on how to strategically find, pick, and place stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Retakes are free. The class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. The next class is going to be in a couple of weeks here. It's two weeks, I think. Uh, September 13th and 14th, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The cost is $29.99. If you're interested and want to sign up, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. I also teach one other class here. It's called the Trends Course. This is for longer-term trades if you want to do overnight. The date of this class is September 30th and October 1st. We're going into the fall here now. This is a course on how to read trends and stock charts. This is for more longer-term trading. The Golden Gaps is the day trading. The cost of this is $9.99. Again, if you're interested, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. I'm doing a special for this class. If you're interested, it's a combination. You can take both classes, and I'll give you almost $500 off. So you get the GAP class and the long-term trends class for $34.99. It's a savings of $4.99. So this is a good deal. And you learn all this stuff in the fall, which is actually a good time to trade. So the summer special I'm doing is the combination if you want to do both the classes. Because remember, fall training is right around the corner. Fall training is just, it's just almost here. It is right around the corner before you know it. The market's going to get busy again. Volume in the market has been low. By the way, I'll say that one more thing. The volume in the market has been very low, and we've continued to make new highs and hit crazy numbers. So when the fall comes around, expect more volume in the market to come in and bigger numbers to be hit up in new highs in the market. So the special I'm offering for anyone that is here today that wants to pre-register for the class in September, for the Golden Gap class in September, if you sign up by Tuesday, August 26, you can receive two months free in the Stock Swiss Show Live Trading Room where I make calls like the NUS, like the GMCR. This is a savings of $500. And just a caveat here, the live trading room that I, when I call my trades when I trade live, is only open to people that are Golden Gap course students. So you cannot just join the room. You'd have to take the class and join the room. And why? Because you got to know what to do. This stuff happens quickly. It happens fast. I want people to learn and I want people to do well. If you want to do this and actually make money, it is my belief system. You need to take it seriously. The only way you're going to have conviction is if you understand what the heck I'm talking about when I call the trains. And that means you need to learn it and learn the gaps. Okay? So any questions from anyone? Any questions at all? I'm here for some questions. I made it under the wire here, even though I started late. <laughs> um, Melissa, you did a great job. You got a lot of information out in such a short amount of time. And uh, we really do appreciate you joining us today. I know I learned a lot as well as everybody else. I'm sure they did as well. And uh, Melissa, I did send everybody your email address. Okay, great. And, uh, as well. So they should, they should have that just in case um, they didn't catch it on your screen. Thanks so much. Thanks, Michael. Thanks, everybody, for having right. me today. Have a wonderful Saturday. All right. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye.